Thanks so much for joining everyone. Hi everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We are talking boots today. We are talking the best horse hide leather. You know, in my hands I have Viberg and this leather is Italian horse back. And you can see it's <laughs> the character that it's coming out is just incredible. So how does different horse hide compare to one another? Have you ever wondered what are the difference horse bat versus horse hide, shinky versus horween? If you ever wonder that, then you are in the right place because today we're going to be talking three different boots, three different styles of horse hide, and we're going to look at the differences. So three different boots that we're going to be talking is Wesco, Horween, Horsehide, Viberg, eight inches high mighty boot made of black Italian horse butt. And in my hand I'm holding John Lofgren Shinky Hikaki horse butt. So let's talk about just the basic difference. So first of all, what's the difference between horse height and horse butt? In very simple terms, the thickness. <laughs> horse butt is much thicker leather. So how does that translate in wearing experience. How does that translate in the real world? Well, it translates that horse butt molds to your feet, creates these deep creases. You can see right here the T core starting to come through. It molds to your feet and, rema and remains kind of stays in that shape, which is incredible. So first of all, Horween horse hide. I mean, this is incredible. It's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> it's a beautiful horse hide. I mean, you've got T-core. It's got a, a sort of a, a matte kind of a finish. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, horse hide boot that I've been enjoying a lot. I've been enjoying a lot. But it, you can see, you know, I've got two. You can see, I mean, it does have, you know, creases and they, they, they're quite pronounced. You know, it does have some scuffs. I, I don't see um, a, a lot of um, tico coming through yet. I'm sure as I continue to wear these boots, as I'm continuing to enjoy these boots, I will see a lot more, a lot more T-core coming through. You know, this is a stunning Wesco Mr. Lou. <laughs> the name is so cool because, um, you know, when I went, uh, to Oregon when I visited uh, Wasco. It was so incredible to meet the people there and um, uh, I didn't meet the dog, but apparently Mr. Wu is the dog who was hanging around uh, the shop. So that's how this boot got its name. It must have been some amazing dog. So it, I would say it's the lightest of all three uh, in terms of thickness and um, it's quite comfortable in, in the summer, although if it gets really, really hot, you know, leather is leather, you're going to feel it. But it's perfect for the fall, perfect for the spring. You can wear it in the winter, whatever, put extra socks if you need to. And it's starting to, you know, stack up. It's starting to develop these pretty cool creases. You know, I was talking to, uh, about this boot in the previous video. It's got a narrow legs so it's perfect for you know slimmer uh, jeans and you can see that 
you know, it's starting to collapse, starting to take shape. It's beautiful. So the next level up would be the Italian horse butt. And you can see that these um, Vibergs, they're shorties, well, shorty, shorter, they're 8 inch um, in height, they're using 2050 last. You know, they've got Japanese nickel roller buckles, pretty cool stuff. <laughs> they've got a dead stock, cat's paw sole, which is really incredible. And you can see I wore them a lot. So as a, as a result, you know, they're starting to, you know, lose quite a bit of, you know, that sort of a initial black color and starting to develop this incredible Patina, you can see Tico coming through and you can see that the leather actually really kind of stays in the shape it's molded to. It's really cool. So this is Italian horse part. Now if we take it up to the next level, what are we going to get? We're going to get Shinky horse butt. I mean, this is incredible. You can see the grain. You can see the grain. It's just so stunning. I mean, these boots are fairly new, so they're just starting to mold. They're just starting to shape. But it will be the same as Vibergs. They will actually mold into shape and stay in that shape really well. You know, I expect for this leather to start aging really well and I expect that the Tico will be coming through in, in, in an amazing way. You know, don't have a lot of scuffs yet. You know, they are fairly new, as I said. You can see the, the soles. Uh, <laughs> haven't had much wear on them. But this leather is so special and it's so unique. Even from pair to pair. There isn't the same boot because the grain, the texture, the three-dimensional texture will be unique to each pair. And as you're wearing it, as it begins to mold to your feet, as it begins to age and patina, it will be unique to you. This is a special edition Shinki Hikaki Horse Bot. Made in Japan, John Wafren, and they are amazing. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments. We really appreciate subscribing and liking this um, episode. And um, I hope you will join us the next time. Thank you.